SGC here and we're back because of my crap camera you can't even see the border poster but anyways we're here for the before and after from border directed by the writer of let the right one in Ali Abashi oh there we go can you see, see a bit whoa I don't know how this works let's try to focus thing nope doesn't work but anyways it's a fairy tale, simply unmissable. So, uh, oh, there you see it. But anyways, I am looking forward to this. I mean, let the right one win, director. I mean, writer. And uh, yeah, I mean, it blew up in um, festivals, cons. It won some stuff, and um, yeah, I do look forward to it. And everyone that reviews this is like, don't, don't read up about it. Just watch it and enjoy it and love it. And so far, I mean, it's been getting reviews that are great. I mean, I try not to read it too much into it. It's just like been raving reviews. Um, people that I actually know says this is a good one, so I can't wait to check it out just to see how it is. I did see the clip when it sort of flew up from cons, I think, and just that scene where she checked out this uh, dude and she sniffed him out kind of thing. And uh, yeah, this poster is really cool, but I can't show you, or I can't. So here we go. This is the poster. My front-facing camera is much better. This is after. Okay, first of all, I need a new phone or something. This camera sucks. And also a correction. This is directed by Ali Abbasi, and it's from the writer of Let the Right One In. This is based off the Grand's short story from his series of something about dreams. Wicked. But anyways, holy smokes. This was amazing. I'm putting it up there with like under the skin, what we do in the shadows, let the right one in, in a sense where it just recreates these characters that we've known for so long, like vampires, aliens, and now this, I think later on when you figure out what they are, is much more interesting compared to me telling you. But yeah, like there's so much layering, there's so much story and character development here, and it's just very heart and gut-wrenching, the tension, the soundtrack, the performance, the cosmetics, the makeup, the vibe and everything. I am definitely going to be on the lookout for this guy's next project and I seriously need to read everything done by Let the Right One In writer. I've been doing horribly in that front, but seriously, this, this movie, like, when it starts off, you think it's one thing where it's like a slice of life of just this woman, and then, then it becomes something more, and then you slowly sort of adapt to this change, and you're like going, just going with it. There is no overlying arc or anything like that, but then slowly it becomes something, and it's just like, oh, that's kind of a cheesy kind of thing, but then no, it gets like crazy intense of just what's happening, and, and granted, I think that twist is kind of weaker in contrast to everything that's happened, but but when you really take how they how they execute it, that's how I would say. But but overall, it's just like this concept was just mind-boggling in the sense where it's just so wow. I didn't I did not imagine them going there, and it's just this lore. I love the world building or the lack of anyway. More like they just infer and apply a lot of things that are happening, and you just go with it, and you just like slowly piecemeal this story of like this world and her and just her upbringing and what she's feeling and all that stuff so yeah this is totally recommended under the skin that type of vibe granted it's not as art housey there's a lot more dialogue in this one than that one but definitely this was this was like under the skin is non entertainment in the sense of where you want to watch that again but this one is just like subtle everything is subtle and 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 it's just great and then and then this the, the acting was just great and the concept and they're layering I think that's the biggest thing for me the layering as you sort of peel back the story and where it's going and everything so I loved it really enjoyed it definitely recommended and uh, yeah that's it for this before and after of um, order later PS it's it was bidded as the Swedish no, um, best foreign language film for the Oscars but it didn't get nominated, so that's a big bummer, because I swear, if this film was nominated, it would bring things differently. And, and that would have been very interesting to see if this was nominated and people started watching it more, and it's just like, wow, this was an Oscar-nominated film. It was pretty far out there, and I granted, I sort of understand why it didn't get nominated. But anyways, yeah, always best foreign film bids and nominations are always something cool to check out, because they're so different from what you typically have, so 
yeah, I'm glad that it was bitted. So I heard about it and hopefully people hear about this more and just watch it because this is like, wow, top-notch film and um, directing and uh, craft. Yeah.